Hi, this is Mr. Banner. If I'm going to do another uh, tutorial on how to calculate the density of a irregular object. In the last video, we did the density of an iPhone, which is a regular object. But how would you do or calculate the density of an irregular object, kind of like this little uh, rhino right here? Because how, I mean, we can obviously get the mass, but how do you get the volume, you can't use a ruler. It doesn't it doesn't work. There's a real simple way, and we'll talk about that. But first of all, we will remember that the uh, formula is D equals M over V, M being mass and V being volume. So let's go ahead and put our rhino on our triple beam balance and find out the mass a rhino. So we're looking at 5.3 grams 5.3 grams but we need to know the volume so what I've done here is I have a graduated cylinder you can see it's full of water exactly 50 milliliters of water if I turn it sideways it's hard to see but it's 50 milliliters of water if you look right at the meniscus right at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, rhino right inside here slowly in here and as the rhino goes there where it's 50 the rhino is going to take up volume and, and the water is going to go up. Okay, so we drop the rhino in there. It's kind of stuck. There we go. And we take a look and it's gone up to actually 54. So let's take a look right here. We started with a volume of 50 milliliters and then it went to 54. 54 milliliters. Okay, so we come out that the difference of that is going to be 4 milliliters. So that's going to be the volume of the rhino. So we're going to put in here 4 milliliters. Or if you remember, 4 milliliters is also equal to 4 cubic centimeters. 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. So let's go ahead and take our calculator. And we will find the density. We've got 5.3 grams divided by 4 cubic centimeters equals 1.3 grams per centimeter cubed for the density of our rhino friend that's right in here. So hopefully that helps out with the calculating the density of irregular objects.